Hey everyone. March recently ended, so of course it's time for me to recap the purchases I made over the month, as well as note the unique birthday gifts I received. Starting off with comics, IDW's all new Transformers issue one, their full comic reboot after the recent ending of their long running continuity. Written by Brian Ruckley, art by Angel Hernandez and Cache Whitman. Taking place before war breaks out on Cybertron with situations like the young bot Rubble being taught about society by Bumblebee and Windblade while social unrest starts to build with the Ascenticon movement. Starting off very slow but it's still nice to give this chance. <clears throat> wave 2's been out for some time but still collecting a bit of Wave 1 of the Transformers trading card game. Character card luck isn't great this time around with Wheeljack and duplicates of Prowl and Mirage. I'm still happy to keep collecting. <clears throat> A new Criterion release for 1970's Wanda. Directed and written by and starring Barbara Loden. Is this woman kind of on the outskirts of society after divorcing her husband and losing custody of her children. Kind of looking past her marriage to the controversial Ilya Kazan, I figured this would be interesting to add to my collection. As noted in its individual video that I did, there isn't much else to say that hasn't already been said, but hey, I got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse on Blu-ray. <laughs> With both style and substance, it's been highly acclaimed and deservedly so. Watched it the night I got it and several more times since. And yep, it's really great. <laughs> So check it out if you haven't yet. Over into trade paperbacks. Going back for my Hasbro Universe collecting. Transformers Volume 6 Police Action. Team Place, well, as part of the ongoing written by Mike Costa with art by Brendan Cahill and EJ Sue. Uh, let's see what issues does this collect. I forget which, but it's part of a back and forth story about now about Union on Earth, uncovering secrets about their alliance with the human organization Skywatch. As well as collecting the Spotlight Prowl one-shot taking place sometime before this. Showing his changing perspectives on Autobots' connections to humanity. And with that, also, Transformers Volume 7, Chaos. Written by Mike Costa and James Roberts. Art by Livio Romandelli and Casey Collar. <coughs> Entailing 
Optimus's forces heading back to Cybertron to take on Galvatron and his mysterious plans involving the Devoid extra dimensional entity. Which wraps things up for that phase of the Transformers continuity before the new jumping off point of More Than Meets the Eye and Robots in Disguise and whatnot. So they're nice additions for me to get. <clears throat> Another Criterion release. I Want to Hold Your Hand. Directed by Robert Zemeckis in his feature debut. Released in 1978. This comedy based around the very beginnings of Beatlemania in the US. Sounds like a goofy fun time, so figured another nice blind buy. <clears throat> Sorry, one second. Unrelated to the new movie, despite the timing, Transformers Bumblebee, the four-issue miniseries, all staying place during the Costa ongoing from a while back. Written by Xander Cannon, art by Chi, four-issue miniseries about Bumblebee taking up leadership of the Earthbound Autobots. The challenges he faces there. And our character-focused miniseries from that era of the continuity, Transformers Ironhide. Written by Mike Costa and art by Casey Collar. Involving Ironhide waking up on Cybertron, supposedly after dying on Earth, and figuring out what his new purpose is. And so again, nice to add to that era of the Hasbro universe. Sorry if I bumped the camera. Special little IDW one-shot, Synergy, a Hasbro Creators Showcase. Celebrating female creators and characters from IDW, IDW's Hasbro Comics. With writing by Emma Viselli, Kitty Cook, Perry Mercer, Sarah Winifred Searle and Margaret Scott. Art by Emma Vaselli, Agnes Garboska, Umi Miao, Sarah Winifred Searle, and Sir Pia de Roche. With a mix of comic stories and autobiographical pieces. Of course highlighting characters like R.C. and Gem of the Holograms and whatnot. So nice to give that a shout out. With it coming out on a twice monthly schedule, also issue two of Transformers. Same writing and art, Brian Ruckley, Angel Hernandez, and Cache Whitman. As investigations are underway about the first murder in this era of their history. And things continue to heat up around the Ascenticons and their overall place and 
ideology in Cybertronian society. <clears throat> From Oni Press, Invader Zim, issue 41. Written and illustrated by Drew Rausch. This creepy, surreal tale of, yes, Dib's skeleton leaving his body and going on a weird little adventure. Because why not? <laughs> also, I've begun collecting for Wave 2 of the Transformers trading card game. course with all new characters my luck starting out is pretty great <laughs> the character cards being acid storm sky warp and silver bolt so I'm already starting off getting a combiner together with the aerial bots so that's cool took me some searching to find it, but also the Devastator set featuring the six character cards needed to form him, all six Constructicons, as well as a 40 card deck, especially based around them. So that's a really nice addition to have. Despite the effort, taken to locate it. <clears throat> Back to collecting the individual blind packed bot bots. For a head dimlet and Venus frog trap but I did get the new Coco Crazy. Like with Dimlet, a little flashlight. Hmm. Let's just show off the new guy. Coco Crazy has a cup of hot cocoa. You lift those up, rotate that around, and flip down his feet. And he's awesome. Series 2 seems to be hitting stores starting pretty recently, but still like to get some of the series, to the first series. Finish collecting those. And now on to the birthday stuff. The Naboo Starfighter Lego Micro Fighter with Anakin and just R2-D2's dome given the proportions of the set. The Sith Infiltrator with Darth Maul. Really cool. And the Escape Pod versus Dubak two-pack. With, of course, C-3PO, R2-D2, and a Sand Trooper. Very fun little build. Especially putting a creature together. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, set one. Collecting the Phantom Blood and Battle Tendency arcs comprising the first 26 episodes of the anime. With Jonathan Joestar going up against Dio Brando and his grandson Joseph going up against the Pillarmen. I'll describe these more, this more in a moment. Set 2. <laughs> Comprising the first 24 episodes of Stardust Crusaders. 
in which Joseph's grandson Jotaro Kujo takes part in the fight against enemy stand users on the way to Egypt to face the resurrected Dio. And yes, set three. Collecting the 24 episodes of the Battle in Egypt latter section of Stardust Crusaders. As the hero's fight finally reaches Egypt, but it still takes a while to get to Dio himself. These sets are pretty cool because they not only include a Blu-ray and this pretty sturdy casing, but also art cards of the many key characters, as well as really nice interior and collection of production art and sketches and director episode commentary pieces. So yeah, pretty high quality versions to get. I'm really happy they were released that way. <clears throat> Having a lot to go through, I probably misspoke a little bit on some things. <laughs> of course, that's what the additional notes and stuff are for in the description of these videos. But that's the big assortment that I got over the month. Comics, toys, movies, games. Pretty impressive haul. With or without the birthday gifts. Might be quite a lot going forward even into April and whatnot. Lots of things I'd like to get and Add to my collections but we'll reach that in early May when I talk about the April purchases so I'll see you later folks <laughs>